The Department of Health and Human Services performs an important role when it comes to our nation's health care. They were the point of the spear for the whole entire pandemic, um, certainly from March through 20, December of 2020, while Donald Trump was leading the country in a real valiant fight to try to deal with the Chinese virus. So what happened? So who was working there? Who would you think that they were all working? They were all pulling the oars? No. The study shows that over 25% of the employees, your employees, the people that taxpayers pay at the Department of Health and Human Services, 25% never logged into their computers once. Not one time in 10 months did they log into their computers. Astonishing. Yet even more astonishing is today, Jerry Conley, the subcommittee chairman for the House Government Reform and Oversight Committee, is holding a hearing talking about how wonderful the government employees were during the pandemic and how they and really lifting up the job they did and looking at what to do about future telework. Well, here's what you need to do, Jerry. What you need to do is you need to put an audit, find out those employees who didn't ever log in and fire them. That's what you need to do, Jerry, before we do any more telework. Let's fire the employees who never once logged in. And we need to find them, not just at Health and Human Services, at HHS, but across the federal government. You do not get to steal taxpayer fund, funds and get away with it. And we cannot have a telework policy that works until those who fail, who stole money, stole their salaries from the U.S. government, from the U.S. taxpayers, are held accountable.